In this tutorial, we'll open the Options list and go through a series of menus where you can customize and display information about your phone. I'll demonstrate how to make and receive calls, and how to use the speakerphone and optional headset. I'll mute a call and then place it on hold. I'll transfer a call, set up a conference call, I'll open the Callers list, activate Do Not Disturb, and set up Call Forward. I'll open an XML application, set up a speed dial number, we'll look at Busy Lamp Field and Shared Call Appearance, and we'll take a look at Astra's optional high angle stand. The 6739i has three significant areas. A large 5.7 inch full VGA 640x480 color touchscreen, 14 hard coded buttons for the most commonly used features, and a standard dial pad, volume control, and a mute button. Let me start with a quick overview of the hard coded button layout. On the left side, there is the Options button, which opens a menu where you can customize and display information about your phone. Callers list, which gives you a call history. Directory, displays a personal directory list on your phone. Services, accesses services set up by your administrator. An example of services may include voicemail, an XML application, or a speed dial menu. Conference, the 6739i supports up to three parties in a conference call. In addition, your call control system, or PBX, may support additional conferencing modes called N-Way Conferencing. N-Way Conferencing supports a higher number of participants. And Transfer, used to transfer a call from your phone to another. Across the top are Hold, Redial, and the Goodbye button. The Goodbye button is used to hang up on a call or exit out of a variety of menus. On the right side of the phone is the Messages button used to access your voicemail system, three hard-coded line keys with LEDs, and a hands-free speaker headset toggle button. Now I'll go into additional details on the six hard-coded buttons on the left. Then we'll look at some commonly used features displayed on the LCD screen. I'll start with the Options list, where you can customize the phone to best suit your needs. I'll press the Options button to open the Options list. I will follow the instructions on the LCD screen. I'll use the touch screen to select my choice. I'll press the left arrow when I want to go back one level or menu. And when applicable, I'll press the up or down arrow keys to scroll through my choices. And at any time, I can press the goodbye key to exit out of the options list and return my screen back to a normal display. The first menu we'll look at is audio. I'll press the audio soft key to bring up additional submenus. Then I'll press the soft key next to the audio mode. This menu allows me to configure how the hands-free button works. My current selection is highlighted with a green border. There are four options. If you choose the first option, speaker, when you press the hands-free button, calls will toggle between the handset and the speakerphone. You will select the second option, headset, if you want to place calls or receive calls using a headset. Pressing the hands-free button will toggle calls between the headset and the handset. You will select speaker slash headset if you want all incoming calls to be sent to the hands-free speakerphone first when you answer the call by pressing the hands-free button. By pressing the hands-free button again, you will toggle calls between the speakerphone and the headset. You will select headset slash speaker if you want all incoming calls to be sent to the headset first when you answer the call by pressing the hands-free button. By pressing the hands-free button again, you will toggle calls between the headset and the speakerphone. Once I've made my selection, the screen will return to the audio menu and display my choice in the soft key. In this case, speaker. This is the default. Later we will come back to this menu and select the function to use with a headset. If you have chosen to use a headset device, then you will need to select the type of headset you will be using. Your choices are wired, DHSG, or Bluetooth. Bluetooth pairing is done through the Bluetooth menu, which we will cover shortly. If you've chosen to use a headset, you can adjust the mic volume from low, medium, to high. The default mic volume is medium. There are five ringtones you can choose from, or you can choose silent. ToneSet provides country-specific tone options for call progress tones. I'll press the left arrow twice to return to the options list. The next menu I'll go into is Display. You can set the brightness level 
of your LCD display. The brightness timer option allows you to set the amount of time you want the display to stay illuminated before turning off during a period of inactivity. The default is 10 minutes. The calibration screen option allows you to calibrate the color touchscreen. This process makes fine adjustments for optimal display. I'll press the left arrow twice to return to the options list. The set time menu allows you to change the time and date formats. The language menu sets the language for all of the phone's display screens. Additional language packs can be downloaded from the Astro website. The 6739i supports the use of a Bluetooth headset. This is a two-step process. First, to pair the headset. Then select Bluetooth as the headset in the audio menu. The Bluetooth menu allows you to add, delete, or configure a Bluetooth headset. You can turn the Bluetooth capabilities on or off as required. To add a Bluetooth headset, take your Bluetooth headset and turn it on, and if necessary, set it to Discover Mode. Now on your 6739 iPhone, turn the Bluetooth status on, then press the Add New Device soft key. Press the Search soft key. Once your 6739i finds your Bluetooth headset and displays it on the screen, Press the soft key to select that device. Enter the Bluetooth device PIN number. Many manufacturers use four zeros as the default PIN number. Consult your Bluetooth headset owner's manual for additional information. If the pairing was successful, after a few seconds, the Bluetooth device will be displayed with a green box around it. Now that we have a Bluetooth device, we'll need to go back to the audio menu. Here, we'll select Headset Device, then we'll select Bluetooth. You may also want to go back to the audio mode menu and change how the hands-free button works. For example, if I choose the fourth choice, headset slash speaker, all incoming calls will be sent to the headset first when I answer the call by pressing the line or hands-free button. And if I press the hands-free button again, the call will toggle between my Bluetooth headset and my speakerphone. Now that we have configured a headset device, I'll press the left arrow to return to the options list. The next button we'll look at is soft keys. The 6739i has up to 55 programmable soft touch keys. Your phone probably already has some soft keys programmed. And if your phone has multiple pages of soft keys, press the next page soft key in the bottom right corner of the screen to cycle through the soft keys. You may want to add additional soft keys, for example, a speed dial number. In the Options list, press Soft Keys. Press an Available Soft Key. Available Soft Keys are labeled None. Select the type of Soft Key. For this example, I'll select Speed Dial. Touch the Label box and type the name of the label of the Soft Key. Select which line you want the phone to use and enter the number. When you are done, press Save. At any time, you can press the Goodbye key to exit out of the Options list. I'll press the Next Page Soft key to see the speed dial number I just programmed. Then I'll return back to the Options list. The next soft key is Status. This menu lets you check on the firmware that your phone is currently using, and under Network, you can see the IP address and MAC address of the phone. You'll need the IP address if you would like to use the web user interface to configure and display information about your phone. The next soft key is Advanced. This is only for the administrator and requires an administrator password. The next soft key is Password. This menu allows you to change the user password on your phone. The password characters must be numeric and the factory default is blank or no password. You'll want to enter and change the password if you'll be using the lock and unlock feature on your phone. Occasionally, you may be instructed to restart your phone to check for updates from the configuration server. Your phone will be temporarily out of service during the restart and download processes. Do not unplug your phone or remove power from the phone while it is checking and installing firmware. The lock soft key locks your phone. While the phone is locked, you can receive calls, but you cannot place a call from a phone that is locked 
or alter any of its features. The phone is unlocked by entering your user password. That was a look at the options list. I'll press the Goodbye button. This will exit me out of the options list quickly and return my screen to a normal display. To make a call, you can press the Line button or the Hands Free button or pick up the handset to get dial tone and then dial the number. Or if your system has been set up for live dial, you can simply dial the number and automatically use the Hands Free function. The 6739i supports Astra's HiQ wideband audio technology. Astra's HiQ delivers enhanced audio performance and superior voice clarity. Astra's HiQ will automatically be used when available. When you have finished with your call, press the Goodbye button to hang up. If you would like to redial a previously dialed number, press the Redial button. The Redial feature stores up to 100 of the last dialed numbers. Use the up and down arrow keys to cycle through the list. Touch the entry to select, then press Dial. Next, I'll answer a call using the hands-free mode. Then I'll mute that call, then I'll place the call on hold. When you have an incoming call, by leaving the handset on hook and pressing the line that's flashing, or the hands-free button, this lets me answer with my Bluetooth headset. This was set up in the audio mode menu in the options list. Notice the hands-free LED is flashing. This indicates headset mode. If I press the hands-free button and switch to speakerphone, the LED is now on solid. During this mode, you will also be using the phone's microphone, which is located on the bottom right corner of the phone. Be careful not to obstruct the microphone for example with papers or books. If I pick up the handset, the hands-free button is no longer lit and I can continue my call on the handset. If I press the hands-free button again, the call is toggled back to my headset where I can continue my conversation and I can return the handset back to the cradle. So if I'm using the handset, the hands-free LED is not lit. If I'm using the headset, the hands-free LED is flashing. And if I'm using the speakerphone, the hands-free LED is on solid. You probably noticed when I received this call that the 6739i supports Picture ID. Picture ID is available on incoming and outgoing calls, your callers list, redial list, and directory. Contact your administrator to set up Picture ID. A picture must be submitted for each phone number. When I press the mute button or the mute soft key, you'll know the mute feature has been activated when the mute button is flashing red and the mute soft key has a red border. Pressing the mute button or soft key again unmutes the call. Now I'll place the call on hold. When the call has been placed on hold, the line key and the ringer LED both flash and the hold soft key has a red border. Pressing the hold key a second time will remove the call from hold and connect you back to your caller. Now I'll demonstrate how to transfer a call. The first thing I'll need to do is to answer this incoming call. After I answer it, I find out they need to be transferred to another extension. When I press the transfer button, I have two choices. I can perform an unsupervised transfer, I can dial the number, and then hang up, and the call is automatically transferred to that extension. Or, I can perform a supervised transfer. This is where I dial the number, I wait for the person to answer, and I give them a heads up on who's calling. As soon as I hang up or press the goodbye key, the call will be connected to the person I'm transferring the call to. The 6739i supports three-way conference calling. However, my PBX has been set up to allow my 6739i to support N-way conferencing. In my demonstration, I will set up a three-way conference call, but I could keep adding more people to the conference call by repeating the process. The first step is to dial the first party. Once they've answered, I'll press the conference button or the conference soft key. This will put them into a hold state. Then I'll dial the second party. Notice that both parties are displayed on my LCD screen, 
Party 1, and Party 2. If Party 2 doesn't answer, I can press the Cancel Soft key to hang up, and then I can remove Party 1 from hold, or if I get Party 2's voicemail, I can press the Hang Up Soft key to the right of their number. As soon as the second party answers and is ready to join the conference call, I'll press the conference button again. Because my PBX is set up for NWA conferencing, I can add additional people by repeating the process. Depending on how your phone system is set up, this feature will work the same but may look different. The callers list is a stored log of incoming calls containing up to 200 entries. It stores the name, if available, phone number, call time and date, and missed or answered call status. The callers list displays from the newest incoming calls to the oldest incoming calls and is grouped by date. Use the up and down arrows to cycle through the callers list. Touching the entry will highlight that call. Then you can dial the number or delete the entry and if enabled, you can save the entry to your personal directory. The Directory button displays your personal directory list. This is your personal phone book stored within the phone. You can enter up to 200 entries into the directory by adding them manually or by saving the name and number from other lists stored on your phone. Your administrator must enable and configure this feature. The Services button accesses the Services menu. The System Administrator can configure and display additional services in this list, such as voicemail or XML applications. Now let's take a look at the LCD screen and the 55 programmable soft touch keys. You will see 12 soft keys at a time. If you have 12 or more pre-programmed and active soft keys, the Next Page button will appear in the bottom right corner. Press this button to advance to the next page. One of the benefits of pre-programmed keys is that they provide quick access to commonly used features. This can vary for each individual depending on what features you use most. For example, my system administrator has programmed the phone lock to one of my programmable keys. I could also access this feature through the options list, but with a programmable key, I can access this feature with the single push of a button. As I mentioned in the beginning of this training, the Messages button can be used to access your voicemail. My system administrator also programmed a soft key to access voicemail. Voicemail options and access procedures can vary depending upon your telephone system. Follow the voice prompts to navigate through voicemail. If you need additional assistance, check with your system administrator. D&D, or Do Not Disturb, is a feature on the phone that when activated, prevents the phone from ringing or receiving incoming calls. When you press the D&D button, notice the red border around the soft key, and the D&D status is displayed on the LCD screen. When a user calls a number that has D&D turned on, the caller receives a busy signal or message depending on how the administrator has set up the account. When D&D is set up with call forward, all incoming calls can be sent to voicemail or to another number. Pressing the D&D button a second time will turn off the Do Not Disturb feature. To activate Call Forward, press the Call Forward Soft key. Your choices are Call Forward All, Call Forward Busy, and Call Forward No Answer. To forward all incoming calls to another phone number, in the All box, press the On key, then touch the Phone Number box to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Touch the number key to switch to numbers, then type the number you want all calls to forward to, or you can use the dial pad to enter the number. If you make a mistake, use the backspace key to erase one number at a time. When you are finished, press Enter to accept the number. At this point, you can repeat the process for Call Forward Busy and Call Forward No Answer. If you are forwarding Busy and No Answer to the same number, you can press the Copy to All Modes key. This will populate your number into both fields. For Call Forward No Answer, you can change the number of rings before the call is forwarded to your forwarded number. At any time, you can return to this menu and turn on or off or change the Call Forward options. When you're finished, press the left arrow. Notice the Call Forward Soft key has a red border around it 
indicating one of the call forward features is active. Now turn call forward off. XML is a language much like HTML. The 6739i has a built-in XML browser. XML applications allow users to create custom services that they can use via the phone's navigation keys, dialpad, and LCD display. These services include things like weather, traffic reports, contact information, and stock quotes. XML also allows users to build custom applications such as inventory and order status. One hotel even built a custom application to provide real-time room status with their housekeeping service. When the housekeeping was complete, the housekeeper would press an XML button on the phone indicating that housekeeping was complete and ready for the next guest. This way the front desk had real-time information knowing when the room was ready. Speed dial numbers are pre-programmed to dial a specific number with a single touch of a button. These numbers can be pre-programmed by your administrator or you can manually set up speed dial numbers as we saw earlier in the options list. Speed dial 8 and speed dial 100 is another way to program and store up to 8 or 100 speed dial numbers. For demonstration purposes, I'll program a speed dial number in the speed dial 8 storage area. On the LCD screen, I'll press the 8 speed soft key, then I'll press the option soft key. Press the right arrow next to add. Touch the number field and add the number with the on-screen keyboard or use the dial pad. Press the enter soft key when you have entered the number. Touch the name field and enter the name with the on-screen keyboard. Press the enter soft key when you have entered the name. Your speed dial number is now set up. To dial the speed dial 8 number I just set up, press the 8 speed soft key, then press the dial icon to the right of my speed dial entry. The BLF or busy lamp field is a feature that when added to the 6739i allows the status of a specific extension number or line on one phone to be monitored on another phone. The BLF soft key will display the status of the monitored line. For example, my phone, Mike Murphy, has a BLF soft key that will display the status of Robert Ray's extension number 4210. If Robert's line 4210 is idle, a phone on hook icon is displayed on my soft key. If Robert's line is busy, a phone off hook icon is displayed on my soft key. With BLF, I also have the ability to answer and intercept Robert's incoming calls if he is unavailable. While I am talking to the caller, if Robert comes back and wants to talk to the caller, I will have to transfer the call to him. SCA, or Shared Call Appearance, is when multiple phones have a line key, or soft key, that shares the same extension number. For example, Bill Smith's phone has the primary number or extension number of 4245. And on my phone labeled Mike Murphy, extension 4245 has been programmed to show up on line 3. So when a caller dials extension 4245, that incoming call is presented to both phones simultaneously. The status LEDs flash in unison so that all people sharing the extension can see the status of that line. Unlike BLF, which monitors a line with the ability to pick up an incoming call, shared call appearance is actually an extension assigned to a button on my phone, in this case, Bill Smith's extension. Our LEDs are in sync, and when Bill has an incoming call, my phone rings also. If I answer the call, and then put the call on hold, Bill can press the line key on his phone and remove the call from hold. If I make a call on line 3, the caller ID will display the name and number that the extension is assigned to, in this case Bill Smith. Both the BusyLamp field and shared call appearance features 
are set up by your system administrator. Astra's High Angle Stand is an optional accessory for the 6739i that increases the viewing angle of the phone up to a maximum of 60 degrees. This stand has been designed to address the needs of those users who prefer to have the phone at a higher incline as a way to enhance the position of the phone display for optimal viewing experience and to optimize the position of the phone's handset and keys. To install the high angle stand, remove any cables and detach the legs if attached. Press the stand release button and squeeze the front and rear legs together. This will help during the installation. Line up and insert the mounting hooks on the stand with the wall holes on the back of the phone. Then push towards the top of the phone. While you're pushing forward, gently lift the front leg over the phone's rear housing pegs. Using a screwdriver, slowly screw in the two screws on the front stand leg. Now turn the phone over. In the handset cradle, there is a small clip that sits flush with the cradle surface. Use a paper clip or a small screwdriver to pull the clip up and remove it from the phone. Turn the clip upside down and reinsert the clip until it snaps into place. Doing this will help prevent the handset from falling off the phone. Push the stand release button to adjust the height of the stand and reconnect your cables. With powerful features and a touchscreen display, the 6739i brings leading edge communication technology to the desktop in a stylish global design. For all of us here, we would like to thank you for your interest in Astra.